the other day, I asked my four-year-old nephew to ask Siri to find the nearest game store. This is what Siri heard. <laughs> find a gun store. In five seconds, he had access to every airsoft and hunting store in a 10-mile radius. <laughs> Can I get a show of hands? How many in the audience know a child with this technology? And now we know that there are dangers associated with this technology. See, Siri doesn't like children. <laughs> she doesn't like talking to children. She doesn't like listening to children. Siri likes adults. She likes talking to adults because she was designed for adults. So she only works with adults. What's the problem? The problem is children and adults, they're different. Children are small. They have smaller mouths, smaller throats, smaller vocal cords. The entire physics of their speech is different. Combine that with the fact that machines aren't very smart. We like to think machines are brilliant, right? But the fact is, machines are limited in what they can learn, one thing at a time. So if you make a machine that understands adults, it doesn't understand children. If you make a machine that understands children, it doesn't understand adults. So which one do we choose? Well, the big tech companies who control this technology, they've chosen adults because that's a bigger market. We need a new solution for children. And that solution is to make them grow up faster. <laughs> Using the power of simulations, our laboratory takes a child's voice and simulates that child's mouth and throat, vocal cords, tongue, and teeth. With that simulation, we can now expand that child's mouth, stretch that child's throat, expand the vocal cords, make the tongue and teeth larger, until that child speaks like an adult. Now, machines aren't very good at understanding what children are saying, but they are excellent at figuring out whether or not they're talking to a child, simply by listening for that unique physics of a child's voice. So the moment Siri realizes she's talking to a child, she turns on this technology and turns that child into an adult. Now, my nephew, he can finally find that game store. As for Siri, she still doesn't really understand what children are saying. <laughs> but she can pretend that she's not talking to one. <laughs>